addressing gender inequality. Providing access to clean water and ensuring that societies can feed themselves. Creating jobs. Sustaining peaceful societies. Managing natural resources sustainably. There is little doubt that communities all over the world face some serious challenges. In 2000, the United Nations resolved to tackle some of the world's most pressing development issues by setting eight targets that the world's governments, NGOs and civil society would work together towards achieving. These eight targets became known as the MDGs or the Millennium Development Goals. They expire next year, in 2015, and a new set of international targets will replace them. In the establishment of the MDGs, higher education was never explicitly included, neither as a development goal in its own right, nor as a potential agent to address other development goals. Right across government, you've got people who were educated on average 25 years before, and so what they were delivering as solutions to problems were actually out of date. The state of knowledge today in our universities is way ahead of where it is in our governments. We, like Sir David King and many other higher education stakeholders, believe that the answers to the difficult questions that our planet faces have come and will continue to come from within universities. The result of the research from the university actually contributes to the overall national development of countries. Whether you live in Amsterdam or Abidjan, Quito or Tokyo, these global challenges have the potential to affect us all. So if universities are vital to solving global challenges, why has higher education struggled to have its voice heard? We are very good at communicating to scholarly audience, but one of our challenges is how to transfer that to, to a broader uh, audience, in other words, the general public. Maybe universities fail to champion their contribution to society loud enough. What my call is for is for us to just not be complacent uh, but, and also to think that in this time where in spite of all of our resistance and our great work and all of that, we've got a world where the rich and the poor are getting further apart all the time. Maybe universities are too detached from wider society. One cannot just stay quit and just stay put in university and do research and do nothing about the society. Or maybe universities just don't feel like this is their role. Whatever the reasons for higher education's exclusion from the NDGs, the effect of the sector's lack of voice is potentially damaging. And if the sector is continually sidelined at key moments in world history, the effects will be detrimental to the world at large. Then what exactly are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? You are not doing your job, obviously. Let's be frank. What are you doing for this society? Through our The World Beyond 2015 Is Higher Education Ready campaign, the Association of Commonwealth Universities is providing a platform for you to tell the world how the research and policies that you, your department or your institution are developing is helping to lead the fight for a fairer and better world. Is higher education ready to tackle local, national and international issues? Are you ready to join the ACU's international campaign? to raise awareness of how higher education has, can and should respond to global challenges.